Let's see, now that means cheat engine's time. Can't do cheat engine on... on this. Cheat, en cheat engine is not a thing in, um... in this mode. Uh, let's see, let's just do arrow wall. Let's do fire damage as well. Yeah, I, I'm on Stadia, so I can't, uh... E even if I wanted to, I can't cheat engine. So we're, we're just going to max this level out if I can. You're ready to hear this Sorceress, dialogue again a couple about of Master times. Cygnus, but I don't remember Vorwick. Vorwick was the equal of Master Cygnus and just as heroic in defense of the Order. But all record of his accomplishments was wiped from history. And you're going to tell us why. I will. But first, you must deal with these orcs. See, isn't Stadia a joke? Uh, no, it's like a legit thing that's pretty good. It's just nobody cares. It is quite possibly one of the most interesting and unnecessary uh, bits of tech I've ever seen. Where it's like the idea of the idea of Stadia is really cool. It's a it's a platform that like you know people with subpar machines can play top tier games at decent at maximum settings. Uh, with minimal, you know, input delay because it's streamed straight to your computer. Like, the concept of this is fascinating, and I really respect what they tried to do. It just doesn't matter because most people either have a console already, or they have a really good, uh, they have a good enough computer. And so it's very rare for it to ac actually matter. Oh, it's coming the other, other direction. And so it ended up being totally pointless for 90% of people. But like, say if you're a, a kid that doesn't have a gaming computer, or a, a poor college student or something like that, this makes a lot of sense, actually. Because you get access to like a whole bunch of different games, uh, you don't have to worry, like you could, I'm pretty sure you can play Stadia games like on a netbook. Good. All right. And so, More like, enemies on the way. as long as you have good internet, uh, say, like, at college, you could just pop out your computer. Hell, you might even be able to pop out, like, an iPad. And, uh... Enemies are attacking on another front! Uh, okay. What is that? Whoa. I have read about these. Earthlord, I think? Correct. And when you kill him, he will break apart into smaller, faster units again and again. Let's see. Yeah, you might even be able to pop out like an iPad or something with a Bluetooth mouse, mouse and keyboard. And yeah, just play a game wherever the hell you want. Like, the idea of it is actually really cool and very, very high tech. It's just so pointless and the marketing it for it was non-existent. Like, for a company that makes its living doing, uh, selling ads, Google has no idea how to advertise anything. And it is... Equal parts tragic and hilarious. Cause like Stadia could have been could have been really useful for like a number of people. Still probably is. Cause like imagine and I I mean I guess it's the same thing as like the PlayStation now, but it works better and some other stuff. I didn't know Stadia or Orcs Must Die 3 existed until like 10 minutes ago. Yeah, it's it's because the they did zero marketing for it. The entirety of Stadia was just kind of a like, hey, we're doing this thing. And everybody's like, that sounds weird and dumb. And then slightly later, hey, we did this thing. And everybody's like, what? Wait, what? And it's hilarious. Because they, this, they absolutely, like, screwed themselves over so hard when they could have maybe made it into it a went. product that, like, people would have actually been down for. They absolutely should not have invented a physical console. I think that was the first immediate mistake. What they should have done was, uh, partnered with, uh, I don't know, like, a bunch of indie, indie game developers and, like, developers in general and been like, Hey, we're gonna bring, uh, 
you know, we're going to be putting this, like, streaming thing, uh, ad advertise, like, streaming your game to the, uh, to, like, any platform, blah, blah, blah. And just kind of had it as, like, an addition for people that want to play, you know, on a not great computer. And then actually let people know, hey, Stadia's out. But I, I straight up have no idea when the Stadia came out. When the platform was launched or any any of that stuff. I never learned. Because they didn't tell me. They didn't tell anybody. And that was a misstep. I hope that works. Uh, let's try another one of these. This is working shockingly okay. well. Way Here too I well. Come. If they partnered with Devolver, that'd be a wrap the for the marketing way. strategy. Yeah, kind of. Like, all you'd have to do is specifically, uh... I mean, really the biggest issue is just letting people know. Like, it's, it's a Wii U situation all over again where everybody's just like, What's a Wii U? Oh, it's actually, like, the next Nintendo platform. What? Really? Like, you can't just assume that your platform is going to sell itself because it's cool. That works sometimes. The fire is doing horrible things to those guys. But yeah, making the physical console version should have come later. Once they knew that people are actually interested in the service, they absolutely put the, uh, the cart before the horse. Quite literally, in fact. Well, sort of? I don't know. And uh, it did not do them any favors. Alright, now they're coming out of both sides. There's not too much I need to do to update this defensive line, shockingly. Let her rip. Yeah, looking good. I might want to consider a bunch of archers like More here. Enemies on the way. Probably right here. In this area, because that way they could take some pot shots at both sides. I'd like to get them the upgrade so that they actually recharge. The other problem is the Orc Archers are a problem. Hey, shouldn't have messed with me. I gotta remember to use that trinket more often. Original point is the best. When they made the service, people either had a decent computer or a console. They hard press a. Uh, Pay for that on top of what they already have. Yep. All right. One thing Google is also really dumb about that Amazon has absolutely kicked their ass at. Amazon Prime is the everything subscription. If you're subscribed to Amazon Prime, you get one Twitch sub, you get Amazon Prime Music to at least some degree, I think, maybe. Uh, you also get Amazon TV and or all of Amazon Prime TV or shows or whatever it is. Uh, stay down. You know, free shipping, and I'm pretty sure there's like some other services you get access to. And what Google should have done is uh, tried to wrap together, uh, you know, their pre-existing subscription service with Stadia. I can't believe that worked. Because the smart smart cookie thing would have been to just like have just a fifteen dollar service that you try and get as many people to subscribe to as possible. It's dead. I'm having a lot of trouble hitting that guy in the face. Okay. That'll work. That's the stuff. Okay. More they might die. The we'll see how it goes. I don't think Google had a unified subscription service. It has sort of a thing. YouTube Red actually gets me access to the Google Play Music, uh, which is probably going to get me access to YouTube Music as well. If it doesn't already, I'm not, honestly not really sure how it works. Because, once again, they don't market for shit, and I only find out about the cool stuff that I could potentially have after the fact. 
And it sucks, because, like, I'd, I'd gladly be a first adopter for a lot of tech. If, uh, or Google tech, if they were specifically the ones... Or if they actually got the word out better. Yeah, that's probably it. The YouTube Red gives YouTube music. I know that, because that's where I get my mu music video of YouTube Red. But speaking of, like, YouTube mu music is... Or, YouTube Red is actually pretty good. Not that most people would know. Like, not, not having to deal with YouTube ads is actually pretty sweet. I know most people just use uh, Adblock Plus, but that's not great for creators. Well, this is working in incredibly well. Uh huh. Deadly. I'm probably gonna have to give them some barricades just to go around. Most people use ad blockers. Yeah, which, as a casual reminder, way. if you're watching my videos with Adblock Plus on, I don't get a dime. I don't get it like, it's on the internet, therefore it's free, and you shouldn't have to pay for it and whatever. But it's like, the more people that use Adblocker, the more, uh, more likely my channel will eventually have to die. And so I have to, like, mildly advocate against it. The trade-off is if you give me, I think, $1 per 500 views. Or is it 300 views? So if you watch 300 of my videos, give me a buck, and I will never care. <laughs> That's why you're a sub here instead. Yep, and that's very appreciated. And this is this goes for like every creator. Uh, and I a lot of us are totally fine and aren't ever going to be in a whole lot of trouble. But for the ones that are struggling more, it is b a bigger issue. Uh, like I, I'm friends with a lot of smaller creators, obviously, who would love to make, uh, say, YouTube or Twitch their full-time job. And without that level of support, it's actually quite tough. Gosh, look at them go. These are worth it. <laughs> I need to get these guys the uh, the HP regen, and then things are going to change. I'm just going to watch at this point. Did we win? Oh, shit. It got well, through. Right. It almost got through. Let's see, what about skipping ads? I... You know I honestly don't know about that one. I'm not going to complain about it too much. I think... I think YouTube still give... Uh, you still get the ad rev for it. From what I remember. You just don't get as much. But, like... At that point, who cares? Now let's get them the regen over time. And deals fire damage and some health. These archers are dumb strong. Okay, so is that everything except for the war maps? Oh, we had cliffside if I want to do cliffside again. And then, yeah, it's just the war maps. Or we could try and do a uh, survival mode. But, like, endless mode does not net you a whole lot of skulls. I wish it did. Well, here's the question. Do we suffer through this one more time? Kick ass? Oh. You can only have one unique trait running at once. Oh, really? Oh, you're right. Okay, we'll just do that. The fire damage would be nice, but having my guardian archers... Okay, let's do this. This will be the last one. I've 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 calmed down. I'm still mad, but I've calmed down. I really wish this game would shower you with skulls. The fact that they don't is actually quite offensive. It's not that offensive. would fight one more battle together before the end. Why won't you understand, Cygnus? The orcs need a master to shape their single-minded stubbornness into obedience. Borwick, old friend, any control would be temporary. See the orcs for what they are, an unstoppable force of nature. What I see, old friend, is that you refuse to share your power 
and help me protect the Order. If that is truly your goal, look to the defense of this rift. They are coming. So the biggest issue here is I'm not going to be able to use flipper traps this time around. I'm not going to be able to use as many. We could... We could try the banks of archers. If I put them here, maybe they don't get hit as much. We serve the order. This could stop an army. Would mass archers and traps work? The only problem is there are enemies that specifically will shoot you. Which is a problem. If I'm here in the ballista, maybe it won't be so bad. One of these here. Oh. Balls. And you know what? Let's actually have them start on the other side. Here's where they will fall. Uh, I'm going to get rid of one of the Guardian Archer sets, at least for the start, because I got to actually have a bl uh, the Ballista. Daddy. Actually, let's get rid of all of these. We want to move them here towards the end. Let's see, do the archers share the same upgrades as the individual ones? Sadly, no. Let's just do that. That'll have to do for now. Uh, it gives me a natural choke point plus a lot of potential stopping spots. It's going to be hairy for the first round, but that's just kind of inevitable. Okay. And this will just give us crazy town trap lands. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. As long as we just get minimal archers through, it should be okay. And also having them go through the singular choke point should help. I do wish the archers would pick their targets individually. Because I think that would actually make a very massive difference in picking off, like, uh, close-up enemies. The spike traps are actually decent in this one. They're always bad. Norks must die in 1 and 2. They were okay in 1 and 2. From my experience. Alright. Please tell me you'll get the other guys. Well, then again, only two guys and they're going to have to get past my flipper traps. So maybe this will be okay. Yeah, the kobolds are going to be the biggest problem. It looks like the kobolds are, kobolds are getting past. I think I might have been better off with just uh, four of the individual archers instead. Enemies are preparing to breach one of our gates. Okay. Gonna have to ignore it for a bit. The enemy army is attacking. Okay, last one. Okay, yeah. 
They're breaking through! A vile creature, dead. Our enemies are attacking! I straight up can't hit these trolls. I'm trying to get them in the headshots. Not working. This will surprise them. Are we done already? I'm going to have that one point there. All right. That'll have to do for now. This one's kind of rough. Let's see, would Guardian Archer be able to shoot through the gate? If I can't, I doubt the Guardian Archer can. Perfection. Very good. Not the best. Maybe uh, let's let's sell this flipper trap. See, there's a fire trap above the gates. Oh, is there? Perhaps Missed it. One of these. <clears throat> okay. Weird, dumb, bad idea time. I don't think these archers are doing. Oh, oh. snap! I don't think they're doing what I need them to. And ready to fight. So I think what I want to do, roll back over here. Let's get rid of these. Because ultimately, I am stronger than, than these things. So I'm just going to get this should work. five of these. Regarding Hopefully that'll be enough to take out prepared. the <laughs> basics. Any strang stragglers? Because the main thing is, it's it's stragglers that are a problem. Here's where they will. Fall. And so, going with super goop lands instead, plus a couple of these archers to just shoot them down, probably should work better. Question. Nope, I don't have enough money anyway. Well, all right, whatever. So the archers be better by the gates. The they die by the gates. If I could put them up on, like, a parapet or a safe spot, like if there was a platform where they're not going to just get clobbered, yes, they would be good. Uh, but if they're not protected, it's not worth it. I could probably get some, uh, maybe barricades down? Let's see, would there be any way to play this with Shell through the Stadia? Yes! So, if I wanted to, I could play this co-op with Shell, or my brother, or someone else, uh, if I wanted to. I I have the capability, I have the capacity, I have all the requisite resources. Uh, the main reason is I don't have the time. Uh, or, I have the time, but Shell and I uh, have other series to work on, specifically uh, Fate Tactics. Uh, which is what we're going to be playing after this. Let's see, are we arguing on whether or not Krillin or Tien are the strongest human? Tien's not human, so it's Krillin. Definitely ain't Yamcha. Can you fight on the right side until wave 5 and move everything over to the left? You're right, I could. That's problematic. Our enemies, they're breaking through again! Not sorry to see that one gone. That won't be the last. <laughs> Good 
news. Well, this sucks. I return at your hour of need. Enemies are attacking. Okay. So not as many got through as I thought, which is really good for me. And down it goes. That keeps the gate fairly healthy. It seems like we might have Well, well, well. Those dynamite arches could pose a problem. Yes. Remember to fight them far from any barricade. That was invigorating. Okay, my archers are back. That's good. They didn't really help, though. I think I'd actually be better off with the proper bank of archers here. Uh, so we'll get one. We hold the line. We serve the order. Wherever they got to voice act that. Definitely not ace voice acting. Ow! I got oh. knocked down, but I'll get back up again. There we Death go. is not the end. Let me see. So how do we want to... Oh. Really noticed this extremely convenient machine. location to fling. Meet flipper, them traps with are, force. flipper traps are good stuff. All right. Perhaps one of these. We have nothing to fear. Failure is not an option. We guardians are always prepared. Uh. We hold the line. No better spot than that enough. Here. That should be enough. Okay. One of these here. That should do. Okay. So this way, if anybody gets past, they're just going to get peppered. I don't actually know if those guardian archers are going to be that useful. But really, I just need to make sure that anything that gets past this little kill maze gets wrecked. That's all I need. What would happen if uh, a couple of spring traps throwing orcs behind the burn sticky maze? You know what? That's not a terrible idea, actually. Let's see. Can you see the, the kills a trap gets? I don't know. I know you can in uh, Dungeon Defenders. I don't know about this one. Huh. I just realized both Orcs Must Die 3 and Dungeon Defenders Awakened came out in the same year. Like within a couple months of each other even. Huh. Not that it really matters. I was just, uh, you know, the, they were always the A or B game. You know, do you play Dungeon Defenders? Do you play Orcs Must Die? I've always been more of an Orcs, Orcs Must Die kind of fan. Just because it feels a little bit more... I don't know. I don't like uh, grinding for gear. That's always been super boring for me. There was Sanctum in the lineup. Kind of the red-headed stepchild. A lot of people just don't talk about it. And maybe I think part of it is because Coffee Stain at this point is known for satisfactory and not for... Uh, and not for Sanctum anymore. But the Defenders games always seem a little unfinished on launch. This is very true. Uh, I was not a big fan of Awakened. It was okay. Like, it was it was classic Dungeon Defenders, but for 10 years of potential development, I was kind of hoping that it would get some more love than it did. Alright, let's see if the archers just 
rune them at Look the out. gates. Our enemies are attacking. Yep, looks like it's working. Yeah, we can just dungeon defenders one without a, any DLC. Yep. And so I'm kind of hoping it gets it gets some DLC support. Our enemies are attacking. Enemies are attacking. I think they're hitting the other gate. They're breaking through. Perfection. Very good. That should do the trick. Actually, even better than this. Would be an excellent location. One of these here. I'm just gonna do that. Not a whole lot of guys get past that section, and just having that there to set all of the basic dudes on fire should do the trick. This update for Dungeon Defenders Awakened was June 6th and it's still full of bugs. That's tragic. I really wanted to like Dungeon Defenders Awaken, and I'm sure if they keep it up and like keep developing it, it'll oh, be great. Snap. Wow, I keep flinging myself into the void. Guess who's back? Okay, let's surprise, just get another though. one of those. Not actually sure if they're that worthwhile. Alternatively, they're not doing me a whole lot of good here, but what if... What if I put them on the front lawn? We are yours to command. Hopefully that'll help. Okay. Let's try this. Me is the music eerily similar to Night at the Museum. I've never heard of that comparison. And it seems a little inconceivable to me, but I don't know. Archer, watch yourself. <laughs> oh man, I don't know why, but I'm immediately thinking of Remnant from the Ashes. Bank of Archers seems to work best as a rear line fire support. Sort of? There's just no good rear line place for me to put. Uh, there's a couple of places that would be kind of good. I just figure this gives them a spot to just pelt things. Right, I was going to put a, uh, a flipper trap to send people back. Oh, well. Well, that got him, actually. The flipper traps plus the bonus brimstone seems to have actually done a decent, decent job. Okay. Well, this is working out. Man, this whole kill streak bonus thing burns real fast. I was expecting that to last a little bit longer, but oh well. We Maybe I should try the Ultra Ballista at some point. 
I just like this thing for just destroying everybody. All right. Let's finish this off. Here's where they will fall. Perfection. I love this device. Let's see. There. So that'll keep them going over the uh, the burn trap. The next question is... Do I want to just do atrocious things to them with ice traps as well? Good. Doesn't cost me too much. Very good. There we go. I don't think anybody's getting past this uh, at this point. Okay, let's sell that. Go back to this. Okay, there we go. This is just mean. And if we're really lucky, the boss won't just just. No, oh, I don't want to sell it. I want to hop in it. All right. Now watch the boss spawn on the other side and really piss me off. Oh, More there's money over there. The Whatever, way. it's fine. Okay, nope, he spawned on the right side. Hmm. Gorbash ingratiates us with his presence. If the boss Stupid spawned indeed. on the but other side, I was going to be we'll so mad. Destroy any barricades we have. Oh, so he's just going to destroy barricades, period. Well, that sucks. Destroyed a barricade. Okay. They're attacking a barricade. It's fine. A barricade this is, is fine. Homeboy still blows the barricade there. Is down. They're attacking a barricade. They've destroyed a barricade! How's he not dead yet? A barricade is under attack! A barricade is down! Who's next? Ow! Oh, this thing can work. It was quick. All right. Remember me. Hey, don't forget to pick up your skulls as the last wave. Yep. Our enemies, they're breaking through again. That's one of these. Okay. How dare you? The enemy army is attacking. Where am I? I am here. They've broken through a gate. Enemy forces are attacking. Okay. My pride is injured. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's try that again. Our enemies Got it. are breaking through again. Ah, shit. Nope. They're entering the rift. Another threat Got him. Wished. I didn't quite get it. We lose one skull. This would be so much easier For in co-op. 
It's fine. We beat the level. That's all that mattered. But I, I really wish there was a slight tracking on the lightning bolts. Oh, the fact that I only get like... Eh, I mean, 10 bonus skulls plus apprentice. It's not bad. I am, I am happy with what I got. I'll just reduce the cooldown on that one. All right. We are good. Yeah, I, I will try and go for perfect when I'm playing multiplayer, but still. We still got... Now we're at the halfway point. Cripes, I didn't get nearly as far on this one as I wanted to. Wanted to but is what it is. I'm going to go play other things.